Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. In this part, we'll take few examples of the class apes. The first is ostrich. There are two common ostriches. One is Struthio and the second one is known as Rhea. Struthio is the largest bird. And it stands almost 7 to 8 feet tall. Their eggs are also largest. So they lay largest eggs. Ostrich, especially Struthio, they are polygamous. That means one male copulates with many females and the male takes care of the egg or we can also write that the males incubate the egg. The males incubate eggs. Males in case of Struthio have penis as the copulatory organ. So this is Struthio and they are found in the deserts of Africa and Arabia. These are the two places where we find Struthio. If we talk about Rhea, this is the only bird which has urinary bladder. Birds are uricotelic. They excrete uric acid because they have to conserve water and they have cloaca. But Rhea, it is one of the ostriches, it has urinary bladder. The next example is Columba Livia, which is commonly known as the blue rock pigeon. They were used as the messengers. It is believed that their memory power is very strong. If they see a place, if they visit a place once, that thing remains with them and that is why they were used as messengers. One more thing which is special about the pigeons is that the male, the male birds, they have a sheen. There is a shiny thing on their body because in animal kingdom, it is normally the male which is more attractive. And the next important thing is they produce a secretion which is known as pigeon's milk. It is a secretion of crop glands from the female bird and this is used to feed the young ones. The next example is Eudinemis which is commonly known as coel or cuckoo bird. Cuckoo bird. Now there is one thing which is very famous about cuckoo bird is called the nest parasitism or, or let us first understand this, <coughs> nest parasitism is the cuckoo bird lays its eggs in the nest of crow. The eggs of crow and cuckoo bird, 
they are pretty much same, same size, same color. So the crows take care of their own eggs as well as the eggs of the cuckoo bird. And cuckoo bird is moving around and the eggs have been taken care of are, or rather are taken care of by crows. The crows act as their foster parents. Once the young ones hatch, the young ones of cuckoo bird, they either drop the crow's eggs out of the nest or even kick out the young ones of the crow. So unless and until they grow to a substantial size, it is very difficult for the crows to identify whether they are the crow uh, young ones or the coil young ones. And as soon as they become grown enough to fly, they leave the nest. So this is called nest parasitism, which is seen in case of Eudynamis or cuckoo bird. Next example is Pavocristatus, peacock. Peacock is the national bird of India. And as I said, the males are more attractive. So here also, the male bird has beautiful tail, <coughs> tail feathers as well as sheen. There is a shine on the body. And the males also have a bony spur on the legs. This is normally used for fighting or as a defense mechanism. Now, uh, coming back to this uh, cuckoo bird, we have to also understand the difference between the male bird and the female bird. The bird, the cuckoo bird which sings is the male bird. It has sweet voice and it is black, whereas the female is grayish or uh, with spots. So it has gray body with white spots. And its voice is not at all good. We can say it is irritating voice which the female has. And the male bird is known as the nightingale. It is called the nightingale because of the voice. So these are some important uh, birds and some unique uh, characteristic features of these birds. General characteristic features remain same because they all are in the same class. But every bird or every type of bird shows some unique features which are restricted only to that particular type of bird. Now in the next part, we'll take up some more examples and also talk about some flightless birds.